Hello and welcome to our channel. We're here to entertain you with some boss movie reactions. Let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome to another one. Boss movie reaction. Yes, Yay. I'm excited. We just had dinner. Mm. Very nicely cooked dinner. Thank you. You're welcome, man. We're stuffed and we're ready. <laughs> But first, I want to say thank you to Cliff Stout. Thank you so much for becoming our latest patron. Patron. Page, patron. Patron on yes. Patreon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So thank you so much. We really appreciate the support. We love you, Cliff. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Cliff. Then we have a quote here. Um, Hunkers TV has watched Liar Liar. And he says, I just have to say because I can't lie. <laughs> You are one of the best editors I have seen oh. doing a reaction to a movie. Yes. Thank yes. you so much. You are. Kudos to you, sir. And your wife is an absolute delight. Oh. Yeah. I haven't enjoyed watching a movie reaction more. You guys have earned a new subscriber. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much Uncle TV. TV. Awesome. Now, the next one made me laugh. Check this one out. <clears throat> um, this guy watched jaws and then wrote bones and stuff <laughs> waggles tongue laughing out loud so i was not quite sure what this meant so but he left the time code so i clicked on the time code and you haven't seen it but this what it was all about check it out sharp teeth and you could open the stomach to see what's in it it has like a, like a couple of body parts bones stuff Bones stuff. <laughs> okay, I remember that moment. Yeah, yeah. I thought you'd get a kick out of it because I didn't know either. And then I watched it. Bones of stuff. No, wiggle the tongue. Waggle the tongue. Waggle the tongue. Um, I did waggle my tongue. Yes. So, all that to say. Our audience is fantastic. Yes, we love I you guys. And now we're going to get into the movie. Tonight we're going to watch Devil's Advocate with um, Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. So I'm very excited about that one. And okay. I have my clapper right here. All right. You guys ready? We're ready. And action. That's pretty cool. Mr. Geddes asked me to stay after class. Then, before I could say anything, he placed his hand inside my skirt. And then he started moving back and forth. He said he was testing to see if I had any special feelings and oh, see what kind of gosh. feelings I had. I was trying to think of something to say. Guilty as charged. I was confused and, he, and then I screamed. Is he defending that guy? Oh, yeah. He tried to get some top. Did he try again? Not with me. Unbelievable. Friends. And after you told them what he had done to you, they told you what he had done to them. Wait, Nothing what? Worse. So more girls, apparently, not just her. Yo, a witness, Mr. Lomax. Any chance you're running for a short recess? Court will be in recess for 15 minutes. He took pleasure in the testimony. He really did. Not now, <laughs> It looked like he had his own hand down his own pants. He did. Hey, you're my lawyer. You're here to defend me. She's lying. Get the hell away from me. She's lying? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Sucks to be an attorney at that point. Yeah, some attorneys probably wouldn't care, though. That's the sad part, you know? True. But good for him. I hope he lets him go. Well, hell, there you are. I got a 4.30 deadline. I need a quote. Not now, Larry. <laughs> Had to close out Sunday. Nobody wins them all. So I guess that's the opposing guy. That was a reporter. Oh, OK. I thought he said something about. Apparently, he has never lost a case. Oh, and he's going to lose today. You ever pass notes in class, Barbara? Seriously? Maybe a note that 
made fun of Mr. Geddes. <gasps> no. No? You wrote this in Mr. Geddes' class. It's a joke. Oh, I hate how they're turning this around on her. It was meant to be a joke. Have you ever had a party at your house, Barbara? This is unbelievable. Yes. Have you ever heard of a game called Special Places? His life is on the line. This is not a joke. Have you ever played the game Special Places? Her life is on the line. Are you kidding? Yes. Is this game sexual in nature? We only played it once. This is making me you mad. You told them to lie, to falsely claim that Mr. Geddes had hurt them. They happened to me. So Unbelievable. A story about a math teacher who He's relentless. That's what really happened, isn't it? No. I didn't want to be the only one. Oh, my son of a bitch. Oh, my poor girl. I have no further questions, Your Honor. This is, no, this is so wrong. He's smiling. Yeah, he knows he's probably going to get off. The best damn trial lawyer in Alachua County. Damn straight. So the guy was acquitted. So that is unbelievable. How's it feel to squeeze a man like Geddes through the door of reasonable doubt? We're not going to discuss the damn case anymore. Right. Am I right? I'll drink to that. <clears throat> Woo! Whoa, I feel one of them nights coming. I know that that's their job to defend and everything, but she was sexually assaulted and then they turn not it around. According to the jury. Unbelievable. Hello, Max. I don't want to disturb your party. We've been following your progress. You've never lost a case. We want you to come to New York. Help us pick a jury. I'll buy you a drink when I, uh... uh You'd have to start next week. All expenses, first class, travel, and lodging. A lump sum payment regardless of the verdict. Take a look. Are we gonna see? Come on, insert shot. Nope. Must be quite a sum. Yeah, I mean the look does say it all, but yeah. still. I'll try, I'll I'll try to zoom in and editing. Out of this place okay. Of the Good. With the zeal of the Lord. Amen. This reminds me of a lot of churches I've been to. All the way to New York just to pick a jury, huh? Let me tell you about New York. It has become a dwelling place of demons. Revelation 18. Couldn't forget it if I tried. Oh really? And what happened to Babylon? Thou mighty city in one hour hast thy mighty... And the mm, so he used to be a church boy. Jeannie, listen to me now. I've gone the extra mile here with you. Good luck. But they're going to be looking for that payment. And if it's not there, they're going to repo the car, OK? OK, got to go. Let me guess, it's on my idea, right? Yep. Well, we better give some grandkids soon so I can get her off my back. Mm -hmm. That'll that? definitely help. I like even the choice for the director to make the mom go this way and they go that way. You know, mm -hmm. like they're separate journeys. Good catch. Well, it's definitely not lost on me that he couldn't even step foot into the church. Do you think as a juror, you would be able to set aside any prior opinion you might hold about the savings and loan industry? What? Do I like bankers? So he's there to pick the jurors. Mm. Let's get rid of number four, six. Number six? She's my first choice. Ooh. She's my first pass. And four? With the dreadlocks. That's crazy. He may look like a brother with an attitude to you, but I see a man with a shotgun under his bed. And number six, your favorite? She's damaged goods. She's a Catholic school teacher. Hmm? There's something missing from her. She's wrong. Somebody hurt her and she wants revenge. Wow. Yeah. How the hell do you know that? Got feeling. I don't know. Look, either you put a stop to this happy or shit, or I walk. Walk. Ooh. Okay. All right, here's the deal. I lose with your jury, you do the explaining. Mm. We'd like to excuse jurors three, four, and six. Impressive. Interesting. Okay. So he reads people very well. Seems like they do. Oh, ah, that's, yeah, I was like, I couldn't remember his name. Hey, you're home early for a change. Your mother called. 
she has her bad feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Mocking the mom. They deliberated for 38 minutes. Jeez, what the hell did they expect? The man is as guilty as can be. Not fucking guilty! Oh my god, you boys! <laughs> picked the right people. Wow. So he's good. Glad you could stick around for a couple of days. Good morning, Caprice. Good morning, Mr. Heath. Look at that office. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're currently wow. representing 25 foreign countries. Della sezione. Cinque quattro uccido criminalmente. Hmm. Red, the color of allure. Oh, Taylor. Kevin Lomax. John Mill. Nice to meet you. So, have we been treating you well? Very well, thank you. That's our secret. Kill you with kindness. You were a prosecutor. Out of law school. 64 straight convictions. <laughs> what a number. <laughs> I like to be in court. Well, what's that like? One day you're putting them away, next day you're setting them free. It takes a little getting used to. Pays better though, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. That math teacher, the Gettys case. So you think your guy was guilty? I began the case with a clear conscience. I spent five years listening to juries deliver. Sure throwing the conscience away. I'm not sure the Florida Bar no. Association. That's how I understood it. Yeah, that makes process. sense. Walk with me. So fill in the resume for me. Your father, what does he do? I never got to know my father. He passed away before I was born. She never remarried? She wasn't married the first time. What's she like? She's a preacher's daughter. She's got a church she really likes. They do a lot of volunteer work. Behold, I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. So they say. Didn't rub off the book, the church? No, I'm on parole. Early release of the time served. <laughs> oh, gosh. A lot of potential clients down there. Are we negotiating? Always. You offering me a job? I'm thinking about it. I thought he I had the job. Got hired for one job. Hit the jury. I wonder about. What thing is that? Pressure. Can you deliver on a deadline? Can you sleep at night? When do we talk about money? Money? <laughs> Straight to the point. Well, that's the easy part. That must be nice. <laughs> I don't think they've ever said that in our business. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Mr. Milton has the tower. So it's just the two apartments per floor? You didn't tell them about the apartment. Well, I thought I'd let it speak for itself. Voila. Be uh, careful, I don't have a map. I don't want you getting lost on me. You must have made quite an impression. Three bedrooms, you know what that means. Babies. Took us six years mm. to get in here. Took them six years to get in there. Thank you. And he just walks Jack. in. Kevin! Enjoy, please. They must want you pretty bad. Only getting behind this if you're on board. Oh, that's nice. I'm with you. Are you shitting me? Two very beautiful people. <laughs> I love you. Wow. I love you too. Tadashi Ozumi, media. Joyce Rensselaer, mergers and acquisitions. Eddie Barzum, managing director. Cristabella Andreoli, International Trade and Customs, CC and G7. There it is, Kevin. Welcome to Milton Chatwick and Waters. Kevin Lomax, Pam Garrity. Nice to meet you. Hi. I petitioned Florida for a letter of good conduct, and I prepared at Mr. Milton's request an overview of the Moyes case. The Moyes case? <laughs> What's that? Oh, my gosh. A boat. Oh. Sacrificing a boat or something. Oh. That's so gross. It's a health code case and it's a loser. It's a test, right? Isn't everything? Lovely, isn't it? And uh, and this is about what? Bryce? 2000 at final. Oh, wow. Well, take it. At 1400. You made it. I thought you said it was impossible. I thought you said it was important. Oh, so sweet. 
Good afternoon. I'm looking for Philippe Moyes. You're saying he's down here in the basement. I wouldn't want to go down there. Kind of looks like a scene from our movie. Mm -hmm. True. Oh, just Monsieur. Chilling in the dark there? I'm here about the ends. We have an investment in blood. Think of it as spiritual currency. Spiritual currency? Wow. What is the name of the man who will prosecute us? Assistant District Attorney Arnold Murdoch. What are you doing, Mr. Moyes? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh. With this tongue, we create silence against Monsieur Murdo. Like, what is he doing? I don't know. Starboard green, what you think? Not with your complexion. That's exactly her complexion. Are you kidding? New York City oh. health codes. Oof. That is not a good color. Marianne, I'm just trying to help. I mean, it's your mm -hmm. walls. Remember, it's only a health code case. I just feel like I'm floating around in that place. You'll settle in. If I want to see Lehman, I make an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> So sad. Yeah. God, how do you handle it? Take a look around, honey. You got three choices. You can work. You can play. Or you can breed. That's a veal roast, Your Honor. Men kill animals and eat their flesh. Philippe Moyes killed a goat in a manner consistent with his religious beliefs. Not it was just a religious angle. Say, Circumcision. Smart. This is a law protecting kosher butchering. Exactly, Your Honor. Objection! Okay, <laughs> enough. Enough. I got it. I happen to know a little bit about kashrut law, Dude. Mr. Lomax. I'm aware of that, Your Honor. And that's why I feel confident in requesting a dismissal. <laughs> Mr. Murdo? Get him some water. You're right. Mr. Murdo? <laughs> oh. Hmm. The twisted tongue and the nails. <coughs> That's he did. That's why he can't talk. Congratulations, great job. Thanks. So you think he like voodooed One, him or something? One hundred percent, yes. Bravo. Oh, because he's a he, like a juju. Yeah, spiritual currency, oh. investment in blood, oh. twisting the tongue with nails. Oh. Yeah. What can oh. I say? Wow. Demo dark, dark, demonic. Yeah, dark forces. <laughs> Gosh. He's walking around with 15 million dollars in his bank account. You kidding? Well, what do you think he's paying us in goat's blood? Don't ever let him see you coming. That's the gaff, my friend. You got to keep yourself small. Look at me. You'd never think I was a master of the universe, now, would you? You're missing what I have. What's that? I'm a surprise, Kevin. They don't see me coming. That's what you're missing. Mayor? Honey, you're late. We're due up at the Barzoon's palace in 15 minutes. Oh, damn it, I can handle this. You can handle this. Promise me you won't leave me alone in there. Promise. I like the way he looks at her. Mm -hmm. He's really a man in love, smitten with his wife. Mr. Barzun, this is Marianne. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, Kevin, here they are. The top of the food chain and dinner is served. Kevin and Marianne Lomax, this is Senator Alphonse D'Amato. Senators. Someone you must meet. Excuse me, Marianne. This is very important. You are so beautiful. Marianne. John Milton. I was hoping I'd see you here tonight. See what they have to say. Just get it on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Your family. You gotta miss them. No? Thanks. She's always in red. She must be some temptress or something. Yep. And she's looking at him, too. She put your hair back. That is nice, though. It's fun to be right. <laughs> He's charming her. You know, your natural color would really bring out your eyes. I don't like what he's doing here. He's getting too close for comfort. I'm just getting to know the city. And is it everything you expected? More. Excuse me, Jackie. Mm -hmm. You guys seen Kevin anywhere? Ah, he left her yeah, after he around. promised. Okay. See, Excuse don't make promises you, you can't keep. Is your wife a jealous woman, Mr. Lomax? I'm gonna scare you away. No, I'm fine. But you like to be on top, don't you? 
Excuse me? Have the situation. Mm -hmm. Depends on the view. Skank. You know what I see? He's also a skank. I see the future of this law firm. Rest up if I've already reported to Bultari. We need to talk, Kevin. Something's come up. Pam, have you seen Kevin? What's up, John? Alex Cullen has just been charged with murdering his wife, her stepson, and a maid. Oh. When did this happen? Just now, tonight. You gotta call Mizell. No, no, no. I want Kevin on this case. Kevin? Ha! You're dreaming. I take Kevin, and I don't look back. Look, I, uh, I appreciate the vote of confidence, but maybe Eddie has a point here. We can get this case. The man's our client. Whoa, there's Pam. You gonna fight for this thing or not? I feel he's testing him. Pam? You left me there. Three hours, you don't even call? Stop, I'm upstairs. And there's a very good possibility that I'm about to catch a triple homicide defendant who also happens to be one of the largest real estate developers in the city. He doesn't care about that. You bailed on me. After you promised. Mayor. The next time you make a promise, you try and keep it. Exactly. Don't promise. Baby, right? Go to hell. You can go sleep on that fucking couch. Jesus Christ. This is my ass we're talking about, John Eddie. Alex, you know what's coming. Now, you're going to have to ask yourself, who do you trust? This is what people know. Three dead bodies. You discover the crime. You call it in. And Mr. Cullen, your prints are on the murder weapon. How do you know that? Ooh. There's a second print in blood. Ooh. It's a partial of a hand on the wall next to the body. I touched the goddamn wall! I'd get out in front of this fast. I panicked! Is that a crime? Well... I didn't kill anybody. Panic is not a crime, but... Mm. That looks pretty guilty. Anybody? I'm innocent. You need immediate representation. I have a 14-year-old stepdaughter who I care more about than anything in this world. We need to issue a statement. He's a winner, Alex. Just like you were. And they'll never see him coming. You better be every fucking inch as good as he says you are. High stakes. Oh, yeah. Come on, Marianne. Let's check out Yoshi. No, she changed uh -huh. No, 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 no. Yes, no, yes, 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 yes. This is $3,000. <laughs> you should buy it, wear it once, and then throw it away. If you're never going to see your husband, you might as well have a relationship with his money. You've seen my new tits. I mean, who does it better than that? OK. Real or not? <laughs> they look real. They must be real. <laughs> Feel them. <laughs> oh, no, it's OK, really. Go ahead. No, no, no. That's the ultimate test. Feel real? Yes, absolutely real. Yeah. What was? Ah. What is Freaky. that? So, what do you think? Maybe she's drunk. <laughs> I don't care if they can hear me. I don't care. I don't like it here, Kevin. Wow. These women, my God, I mean, I'm seeing things for Christ's sake. You just left them in the store. Yes! Look, calm down. No! Listen to me. No! Mayor, Mayor. <sighs> You've got the pressure of fitting in with new friends. Add to that a couple bottles of wine. No. Hmm. No. That's what I said. <laughs> Yikes. Kevin, I'll never see you anymore. If you can believe it, I'm actually looking forward to having your mother come and visit. Oh, wow. That's saying a lot. Mm -hmm. What about the apartment? God damn you! Why do you always have to go and change things around? Because he's a lawyer. Suck. I hate wow. this stupid place. And I know we've got all this money and it's supposed to be fun, but it's not. Mm. It's like a test. The whole thing is like one big test. And God, I'm so lonely. Mm. I miss you so much. I'm sorry, baby. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's make a baby. Yeah, that solves everything, man. Don't tease me. I wouldn't do that. Well, it would help, definitely. Oh. Oh, wow. She 
imagination is playing tricks. And he likes it. Uh huh. It's like big time nudity. Big time. Oh, she's it's her again. Mm -hmm. Switching from one world to the other. Stop! Stop! Stop. Oh. oh God. Where are you? Where are you? No, you're not. No, you're not. She's very intuitive. She, she feels stuff like that. Why do we have to keep because going? Because it needs to be clear, Mr. Cullen. You're standing there. You look down. There's the gun. The gun. I don't know why I picked it up. You kneel down to pick it up. Whoa, that's beautiful. I think this is Trump's place. I saw this once in a documentary. Really? I think so. This? Yes. Your hand came from inside and underneath. Here, what's it? Here. I can show you. Oh, oh my gosh, this guy's a loose cannon. Mm -hmm. Wow. Threatening him. Did you see it? Are you out of your mind? You're charged with a triple homicide. You're walking around with a damn gun. I have had nine <laughs> death threats. Give it over. Now, give me the gun. I gotta protect myself. That's my job. This is a deal breaker, Alex. <sighs> Let's wrap it up. So what's next? We need to talk to your assistant. You feel confident she'll back you on the time? Melissa, yeah, yeah. She's, she's okay. She's a uh, straight arrow. Okay. How about a couple shots? Hey, Kevin, how's it feel to get the biggest murder trial in New York? Oh, the mom is in town. Are you really going to plead Alex Cullen not guilty? What is happening? Yes, I am. Sorry about that, Mr. Lomax. No problem. Welcome to Babylon, Ma. Well, speak of the dark. Mom, this is John, John Milton. Milton. How do you do? Ooh. This isn't really your first visit to New York now, is it, Mrs. Lomax? Yes. She didn't look like she was going to answer yes. <laughs> Good night to you. Good night. She does not Good trust night. him. Not at all. Kevin, hang on. How about Cullen? How's it going? That's a long conversation. Want to come up and tell me? No. Don't do it. Let's talk tomorrow. Good for you. Well, the mom clearly feels something is off with him, and she's starting to feel it too. Big time. Is that what you're doing when you're working late? Shit. Mom, what are you doing? I'm going home, Kevin. What? I don't feel right. I have to go, Kevin. I miss my church. Mom, this is New York. There must be 20,000 churches. Take your pick. You need to do a better job with Mary Ann. She is not well. So stay. Take care of her if you're so concerned. I'll take her home if you let me. This is home. Unbelievable. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to temptation. It's a little early for scripture. I'm going to work. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, taking her home would be a good idea. Gruesome. Mr. Cullen didn't kill those people. I know him. He's a difficult man, but he couldn't kill anyone. That's why we're all working so hard. Thank you. I mean, maybe he's not guilty, but who did it then? No shredding in the building trash. Getting rid of evidence or something? I thought I was the only one working late. Uh, ha. Well, so did we. <laughs> Looks like you've got your hands full. Oh, it's just a little, um, housekeeping. If anyone should ask, you never saw this. Who would ask? Uh, Weaver. Who's that? Justice Department, Weaver Commission. So, something illegal. You don't know about Weaver. Sorry. Hmm. How nice for you. Grab your coat, Mr. Lomax. We're going to the garden. Ringside. Title fight. I'd have to call Marianne. Do it on the way. Who the hell knows what Eddie's up to? What the fuck are you looking at? I'm having a good time here. 
telling you, you can get the fuck out of my fucking car then. Shit, jump. Sue esposa. Ella estaba arriba con Carlos. Él se la va a meter. What? Y pongo ese cuchillo donde merece. You still got time. Invigorating. What did you say to him? I told him that if he didn't leave us alone, you were going to kick his ass. Wow. That's creepy. He knows stuff. Is he like demonic or something? Probably. Oh. He's a devil. Very possible. Yeah. Or like maybe not the devil. I don't know if he's, but devil's advocate. Yeah. Mayor, you're really starting to piss me off. Whoa. I'm fighting again. Go to bed. I have no idea. Hmm. Hmm. They're drifting apart big time. Mayor. Well, he's definitely becoming somebody else. Yeah. He's staring at the women more. I feel like he's gonna have an affair. Kevin Lomax, where are you from? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Michigan! How'd you know? Wow. No. No. Oh, he's so devilish. I can't even do it, I'm not evil. Kevin? Nope, he's still out. Honey? Oh, she saw herself get up. Is she dreaming? Hello? Mm -hmm. Or hallucinating? Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you lost? Where's your mommy? Oh, Look at this I kid. Got no mommy? What you got there? <laughs> what are you playing with? <gasps> oh, gross! Oh. Oh, no! oh, no! oh no! Oh my gosh! So she was. I guess dreaming. it was a dream. Yeah. Oh. Look how she looks. Yeah. Maybe there's, there's no blood. Mary, it was oh. a dream. Not a dream if it's true. She's going oh. crazy. you will leave me now for sure. No! Get away from me! This is not a good place for her. Mm. What is it now? It's not sympathetic. I'm calling the doctor. They took my ovaries and told you right here! Marianne, it was a nightmare. It didn't happen. Heaven, you can't have children. Says who? The doctor. I was there yesterday. Non-specific ovarian failure. That's ridiculous. <gasps> Shh! Did you just hear that? Babies. Listen. You hear jing like bells. Babies, I heard. Can you hear that? No. You're gonna leave me, aren't you? <gasps> yeah. I know you. No, Kevin, it's these monsters. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. Fuck, I knew the DA was holding out on us. I don't care. Fine, come. Yeah, he's changed. He's following the business. And she knows it's probably over. I get one supervised hour a week with my stepdaughter. You better have a goddamn good reason for calling me out. Your prenuptial agreement's on file at the firm. The contract is null and void in the event of marital infidelity. You fuck around, she gets rich. That's a motive, Alex. It is. It is. What do I need to know? You killed him. Melissa, my assistant. That's what you need to know. She wasn't even that good a fuck. And on the night in question? I was boning my assistant the night my wife got shot. I've got to re-interview <laughs> Melissa. Wow. That would give him an alibi, if it's true. Alessandra. Alessandra, wait! Alex. No, not now. Wow. I mean, he def I think he definitely killed her. I'm sure. He thinks it could be some kind of hormonal imbalance. I'm taking you off the case. What? what? She's sick. Everyone will understand. 
I'll understand. We're going to talk about this. That could be a good thing for him. She's got to come first. Oh, wait a minute, wait. You mean the possibility of leaving this case has never even entered your mind? Wow, that's telling. You know what scares me? I quit the case. She gets better, and I hate her for it. Wow. I've got to nail this fucker down, do it fast, and put it behind me, just get it done. Then. Wow, that's, I mean. Put all my energy into her. <sighs> Sounds so unsympathetic. I understand both sides, but, you know, he made a choice right there. I stand corrected. It, it never entered his mind to leave the case. <laughs> and when all that evidence is laid before you, you will know that Alexander Cullen is guilty of murdering three people. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I don't like Alexander Cullen. I don't think he's a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to start. I'm going to tell you some things during the course of this trial that are going to make you like him even less. But this isn't a popularity contest. It's a murder trial. And the single most important provable fact of this proceeding is that Alexander Cullen was somewhere else when these horrible crimes took place. I want you to ask yourself, is not liking this man reason enough to convict him of murder mm. it's clever okay enjoy your lunch because ultimately he has to tell them about about the affair oh absolutely. So they're really gonna hate him but fuck what's that about they're gonna hate me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> listen to me like you've never listened to anybody before in your life because as long as you're out boning melissa you're not home killing your wife exactly uh that's true why don't you say something before <laughs> sky it doesn't look spontaneous <laughs> Look at him. Oh, you got it now. So <laughs> happy and proud of him. All right. Great lawyer, but my goodness, that's, uh, oh. Hey! I mean. Kevin! Eddie! How the fuck does your name get on the firm's charter? It looks like it's been there for years. So now you're a partner. When did that happen? Wait, what? You know, I still He's a partner in the firm, the apparently. Firm. For years. I'll shove them down your throat. I don't know what you're talking about, but I sure as hell don't like the tone of your voice. Ah, bullshit. You think you're tough enough to run this firm? Ha! Remember the Weaver Commission investigation? The next time Weaver calls me, maybe I'll just pick up the phone. Okay. Wow. Threats all over the place. What the hell was he talking about? Eddie's got himself in trouble again. Eddie Barzoon, Eddie Barzoon. Ha! God's special creature? Like 250 pounds of self-serving greed on wheels. He's the poster child for the next millennium. These people, it's no mystery where they come from. You what? sharpen the human appetite to the point where it can split atoms with its desire. You build egos the size of cathedrals until every human becomes an aspiring emperor, becomes his own god. Hey, wrong way. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Gone. We got a runaway train, boy. Oh. And it just keeps coming faster and faster. Oh, fuck out. We got a billion Eddie Barzoons all jogging into the future. Every Dude, one of them getting ready so to creepy. fish fuck God's ex planet. <sighs> and then it hits home. <sighs> You gotta pay your own way, Eddie. It's a little late in the game to buy out now. Ooh. Your belly's too full. Oh. Your dick is sore. Your eyes are bloodshot. So she's seeing all this. She's hearing it or feeling it or something, yeah. There's no one there. Those are demons. You're all alone, Eddie. You're God's special little creature. It's almost like he's making it happen with his speech. Everything was correlating. Maybe it's true. Maybe God threw the dice once too often. Maybe he let us all down. Well, I thought at first he was seeing it himself, you know, but yeah, he's doing it. Is it your testimony, Ms. Black, that between the hours of 610 and 940, you were engaged in sexual congress with the defendant? Yes. Did you Preparing the witness. No. Did he use the bathroom? Yes. Is he circumcised? You understand the question. Yeah. 
You've been polishing his knob three times a week for six months, and you don't know whether or not he's got foreskin? I've had enough of your fucking game. Why don't you take your questions and shove them up your ass? She's lying. Uh... He did kill her then. And that was his alibi. Exactly. Now he's back in that situation he was at the beginning of the movie, What's making that? that choice again. It's Eddie Barzun. Wow. What about him? He's dead. Kevin, Kevin, I'm sorry you're doing court in 30 minutes. That is I want you to put Eddie crazy. aside. I know she's lying. She said nothing. He killed those people. We talked about this, remember? Pressure. Take a big whiff. All right. He's testing him again. Manipulating. Mm. All right, Mr. Lomax. Wow. You may present your case. So is he going to have a change of heart this time? I hope so. It's almost like this is his second chance. Like, mm -hmm. if he can, you know, make up for having stood up for a, like a guilty person. Pedophile. <sighs> Mr. Lomax. I call Melissa Black. Yep. Wow. He's doing it. Wow. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Love her hands on the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh. And he walks free. Wow. He makes a what lot of money. A snake. Snake. Wow. She didn't look well, sir. Sold out big time. Where is Church of the Heavenly Hope? Oh, so his wife's at the church. I was surprised. I thought she may not even be there. She might have already left. But it's a big deal for her to be in a church. You know, the same one who didn't want to, you know, didn't step foot in the church. Mocking his mother. What happened? You okay? He let himself in. You need to know that. Who let himself in? Did somebody hurt you? Yeah. Who? Built it. He... He fucked me. And I think I wanted him to, but but then I just I don't know, I just I couldn't stop him. Who's Milton? Hey, the baby, devil? He just wouldn't stop. The boss. Baby we went. Today. The whole afternoon. I'm so ashamed. Today? But he was in court. Today he was in court. He was in court in my presence oh. all afternoon! No! Yes! 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 No. So she's seeing Kevin, stuff or? Kevin, I'm not crazy. You have to believe me. Oh, my God. Oh, no. oh. this to me. No. You did this to me. Oh, what did you do to yourself? She's calm now, so this might be a good time to say goodnight to her. Wow. No, I believe her. I know why this is happening. It's the money. Blood money, Kevin. We she knows. Down, both of us. When in those cases, taking the money, we knew they were guilty. 100% correct. I can't look at myself in the mirror. And I see a monster. The guy, he said 40 different men were was were screwing her, you know? Al Pacino's character. So he was he was probably there. He could make himself Oh my gosh. Eddie Barzo. Do you have room for one more? Beloved father. Such a vibrant member of our community. A new communion. That is so horrible. That, is They're all in the same Lord, club. Who is our refuge and our strength? Now you have God, who is that very present. Now he starts seeing things. In time of trouble, 
They are interchangeable. Wow, so disgusting. And you know that's going on in this world big time too. What is? That kind of behavior. Like the pedophilia? No, everything. Oh. Lying, stealing. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Satanism, everything. No doubt about it. Selling your soul, pretty much, you know, for money. Mr. Lomax, Mitch Weaver, Justice Department. Oh. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I need to talk to my wife. That's why she was also seeing the faces contort on the women, because they they're in on it. Oh, they're all in the same club, yeah. Milton Chadwick Waters is a little more than a law firm, but then I assume you knew that. So are they all like Satanists? I'm sure you've heard of it. I mean, then you got kind of, yeah. Moscow, money laundering for the Eastern Bloc. Kevin, it goes on and on and on. Huge drug cases, murder, everything. What the fuck do you want? He's a lawyer. The Gettys case, eighth grade teacher. They found him yesterday. He had the body of a 10 year old girl in the trunk of his car. Oh. That's on his hands. <gasps> Demonic. <laughs> Bam. Yep. He's doing, he's controlling it. percent Oh. For indeed, his divine power has granted us all. Oh, the mom is back. Mm. Through the knowledge of him who has called us. That's exactly what she needs. Mm hmm Mom, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Mm. It's not a tonic. Come on, Kevin. I'll never forgive myself. There's nothing you could have done. Oh, I could have told you the truth. What truth? About what? 1966. I was here in New York. Mm. That night in the elevator, you never let me answer. Mm -hmm. See, I knew it. Your father was a waiter in that restaurant. My oh. father? So she got knocked up. Oh, this is great, Mom. You ain't 30 years, you fly up here, you pick today? Behold, I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. Mm. See how beautiful you are? Oh my god, no, please. No, look at me! I love you. No! No, no, no! no! Oh my god. Oh god, no, 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 Please stay with me, man! Please stay with me, man! Get Dr. Joe in here now! Sir, get away so that I can help her! Get Dr. Joe, please! I'm losing her! Holy. She didn't die, did I mean, Finish the story. You're in New York. There's a waiter in a restaurant. He talked to me. 16 years old, 1,000 miles away from home. Someone takes an interest. Knew the Bible, every word. Just knew it by heart. That last night, he came to say goodbye, and he told me, Behold, I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. I want to hear you say it. His face that night, I knew it was him. Say it. I mean, you, know you were so is, right? proud that you had just come to New York. Say it! I have the heart to tell you. Say it! Milton, he's your father. Oh. Uh, he's your father. His father? Somehow he found us. I gotta go. Uh, Leave it alone. Stay here with me. I have to go. There you are. Pam. Go on. He's waiting for you. Wow, look at this. That's New York, empty. Yeah, that's not normal for New York. But what, but what does he want with him? Like, I don't know. You were right about one thing. I have been watching. But I'm no puppeteer, Kevin. I don't make things happen. Doesn't work like that. 
What did you do to Marianne? Mm. Free will. I only set the stage. You pull your own strings. God damn it! What did you do to my wife? Marianne and I got it on at about five on. Fuck you! Oh, 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 oh got me! Yeah! Yeah, he's the devil. Yes, yeah, she is. Who are you? Who am I? Satan. Who are you? Never lost a case. He's Satan's son. Yeah. Why? Why do you think? Because you're my father. I'm a little more than that, Kevin. Had to close out someday. Nobody wins them all. That's what the reporter said at the beginning. What are you? Oh, I have so many names. See, call me dad. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Maybe she knew it. She knew it, so you destroyed her. You blaming me for Marianne? You could have saved her anytime you like. All she wanted was love. Hey, mm. you were too busy. You were he, cho he chose his hey, career. Kevin, there's nothing out there for you. I told you to take care of your wife. He did, did actually. Mm -hmm. What did you do? You know what scares me, John? I leave the case, she gets better, and then I hate her for it. That's a good impression. <laughs> exactly what he's saying. Right? <laughs> Whoa. You set me up. Who told you to pull out all the stops on Mr. Gettys? You mm. played me and Colin, mm. knowing he was guilty. You put that lying bitch on the stand. You brought me in. You put me there. That day on the subway, what did I say to you? Maybe it was your time to lose. Lose? I don't lose. I win. Mm. I'm a lawyer. That's my job. That's what I do. Wow. He said it himself. Arrest my case. Yeah, exactly. Vanity is definitely my favorite sin. I let her go. Ah, oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Kevin. It's awesome how far you've come. I didn't make it easy. Couldn't. Not for you. Or your sister. Sister. Well, half sister to be exact. I am shocked. What do you want from me? Hey, I know what you're going through. I've been there. Just come here. Come here. Yeah, let it go. I can't do that. Who are you carrying all those bricks for, anyway? God? Is that it? Don't mock God. God gives man instincts. And then what does he do? I swear, he sets the rules in opposition. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, don't swallow. <laughs> He's laughing his sick. Fucking ass off! He's a sadist! He looks like He's Satan right there. Look at that landlord. face. Worship that never! Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, is that it? Why not? I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. And I never judged him. Why? Because I never rejected him. I'm a fan of man! I'm a humanist. It's my time now. It's our time. You must need me pretty bad. What do you want? I want you to take over the firm. You, your sister. Is that it? No. She's ovulating right now. What? Your seed is the key to a new future. Your son is going to set this whole thing free. That's what it is all about. What? You want a child. Antichrist. The Antichrist. So he wants make it sister yes. brother sister whatever perverted half sister but i have to volunteer free will it is a bitch what are you offering we negotiating always yes yes what are you offering everything anything what do you want how about bliss for starters bliss on tap <laughs> bliss those things are creepy Oh, I don't like that. that it's disturbing. Oh, you're gonna have to do a little better than oh that. Oh my gosh. I know. How about the thing you love the most? Ooh, that cold courtroom just giving itself over. I get that on my own. Not like this. I take the bricks out of the briefcase. Mm -mm, don't do I it. Mm -mm, not worth it. No strings. Do not Great sell your baby. soul. 
This is revolution, Kevin. It happened. The level of manipulation is just staggering. Kevin, you don't know how hard it's been for me to wait for you. Why the law? Cut the shit, Dad. Why lawyers? Why the law? Because the law, my boy, puts us into everything. Acquittal after acquittal until the stench of it reaches so high it chokes the whole fucking lot of them. In the Bible, you lose. Mm -hmm. But consider the source, son. Consider the source. Will you stop talking, Kevin? Look at me. That's your sister, and she a devil. Ay, ay, ay. Jesus. <gasps> She's mocking. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <gasps> I've wanted you from the moment we met. Virtue yeah. of the devil is in his loins. What about love? Overrated. Biochemically no different than eating large quantities of chocolate. Not true, but close. In two minutes, you won't be thinking about marrying ever again. It's time to step up and take what's yours. You're right. It's time. Free will, right? an excellent idea wow. but it's very traumatic wow. being the angel again huh Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Had to close out someday. Can't, can't win them all. Nobody wins them all. Oh. That Whoa. was the devil too. Was it? No. I think so. Oh, right. Because yes, he, he even said. set the line, you know. Oh, so this time he's... He's got to be smart. This is his second chance. Third chance or fourth chance. And she is still alive. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> you okay? I am now. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Yes. You're a witness, Mr. Lomax. Okay. Mr. Lomax? Your Honor, I'm terribly sorry, but I can no longer represent my client. Ooh, good job. Order, order. Mm, I love that. Mr. Lomax, this is outrageous. Are you aware of the consequences of this action? I am, sir. We're going to adjourn this trial until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Baby, what are you doing? The right thing. Good for you. The right thing, indeed. Oh, here they are. Are you going to be disbarred? I don't know. This story, this is the one, pal. This is the one you dream about. There is about. no story. Bullshit. A lawyer with a crisis of conscience? you got to be kidding. It's huge. This is a story that needs to be told. It's you. You're a star. Yeah. He's trying to get him back mm -hmm. again. Baby. Interesting. Call me in the morning. <laughs> you got it. First thing. Bye, Larry. Very appropriate, yes. Vanity. Definitely my favorite sin. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Directed by Taylor Hackford. Oh wow. Okay, I guess that's the end of this one. 
Wow. That was, that was... I'm speechless, honestly, it's... I have a thousand of, thousand thoughts and... Well, what was making you so emotional, by the way? Well, which part? I don't know, you were very emotional in this one. I'm always emotional when, when there is something with love or um, goodness touches me very much mm. but love I mean she is killing herself in front of him I mean imagine that that's just that is just but man I love there's so much I love about this movie this I can already say this is one of my all-time favorite movies I, I already know it I'm gonna watch it again because the dialogue in the end, the devil trying to convince him, to, to manipulate him, to win him over to his side was just genius, genius. And you know, every young person on this planet is vulnerable for vanity. And, hey, you want to be a star? And, mm -hmm. You know, just crossing the line a little. I mean, I crossed the line a little when I was younger. You know, you cross it a little and then you cross it a little bit more. And if yeah. the right incentive comes, you cross it even more. I mean, Hollywood is a prime example, you know, hey, you want to be a star, just do this and that, you know, well, so. It's like grooming, you know. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. grooming. Step by step, and just you, the way they did it. You do it little by little, you know, so because, yeah. you know, that's what traffickers do. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. to groom people to, you know, and in this case, the devil was trying to groom his son. Yeah, which will then have over a the, son on, with his stepsister. Taking uh, over the, yeah, the, like the family. Because I kept wondering, well, why does he care that he's there? Like, what, like, what is he bringing him? Why is he bringing him there for? You know, it can't just be, oh, he had a baby with his mother, but what's the purpose, you know? And then I was like, oh, I get it. He's, the purpose is, he wants to, you know, he wants to take over. Like he wants the, the world, you know, with the baby, which would be the Antichrist. That's what it is. But it's interesting because he's doing it through him being a lawyer. Yeah, and he explained that so well. Why that is? It's fascinating. Well, I, I don't know how I feel. I I have to keep thinking about it because I. It's very trippy. There's like there was so much going yes. in, and I did not expect that actually. Like I didn't expect all the twists and turns. It was it was a ride. The end was genius to to bring him back to the to the beginning of the movie where he made the choice in the bathroom. You know, he made the choice to go out and defend the pedophile, and then he saw his entire life all the way to where he could have given over to create the antichrist but free will and he killed himself and that's why he was back at the beginning making a different choice and then five minutes later already gets tempted again by the devil reporter hey you're a star your story needs to be told just as a message to us human beings to be careful because the devil is everywhere everywhere you know it's just i could probably talk an hour about this movie right now but of course I won't, I will collect my thought and do one of the afterthoughts video, which you guys are free, um, you know, to check out. But, um, but thanks for watching. Yes, thanks yeah. for watching and being with us again. Always enjoy it. We see you in the afterthoughts video and see you at the next movie reaction. Bye. Yeah. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.